So we're downtown on a Tuesday guys. Cheap me here, cheap me there. It's uh, late afternoon. It rained pretty hard today. Uh, so the road going right here, going up towards uh, Central Bank. It's open on the right hand side only. The left hand side is closed. As you can see, they're doing some serious roadworks here. So all the way through here, they're relaying the concrete road uh, on the right hand side and then they will move across to the left hand side which is what I'm on at the moment and they will relay that in the next couple of months and then they will tarmac uh, and that's what they're doing they're doing an asphalt overlay up towards Central Bank they've already done it on Torres and I think that's come because of President Duterte saying spend all your budget guys spend all your budget because the GDP is crap you know uh, inflation is going up and wages are going down and people aren't spending anything so the more road works they do and the more uh, building work they do the more people are employed the more people got money to spend however if they don't get Covid sorted out um, then they're going to run out of money by the summer and nobody's going to be in work. So we're coming along this road here. Um, there was a, an announcement regarding the vaccines. It's going to be delivered a week later. It was supposed to be here on Monday, but uh, there's an issue with delivery or a delay in delivery, whatever it is, but uh, it is where it is. So uh, um, yeah, you just have to wait. Um, I was uh, reading an article about the UK. The UK has is, uh, is vaccinated 15 million people. So pretty cool, really. Yeah? Uh, and I don't think any, I don't think anybody in the, in the Philippines has been vaccinated. I think there is only two million people being vaccinated in the whole of Europe because they don't have any COVID vaccines. They don't have any uh, structure. But anyway, that's where we are. So it's starting to rain, it's got a little bit of a drizzle. Uh, as I said, it, it was really hard rain lunchtime today, so I didn't go out. Um, so this road here will be relayed and rebuilt, like the road on the right. So they have this uh, coming down by the school here. They've done a really, really good job. You know, look at that, they've turned around and taken maybe 15 inches of old tarmac and old road up and then relayed and those little slabs you see see, that? see how they're doing it here so they've done that they haven't gone all the way down but they will go all the way down so we're coming down here so they seem to be going all the way down to san pedro and i'm going to ride down to san pedro and then i'm going to come up the road that i class as the worst road in the philippines but uh, i think I think they put that to right. So here we go. So look at that. They've dug that up. You can see the water where the water's laying, but uh, they've dug it all up and they will turn around and start to put those formers down the side to create the, the edging and then come along, put down some hardcore and then put some concrete. So this is uh, one road. Uh, we're, coming, we're coming across Bonificio now and uh, we're coming across here and they're doing the same on this road all the way down see how they've dug it up so they've, they've really gone for it you know you know it's nearly two miles worth of uh, uh, city centre roads that they've dug up that's a nice big truck there isn't it look at that that just scrapes everything up so see what they've done here they make it really nice and flat uh, and they've actually got an area and the guys will be, still be working now but the, the rubble was there to be put back on uh, they've got some guys taking some pictures and doing some other bits uh, they're going to go down this road which is going to go to uh, uh, they go to San Pedro now I'm on Rizal Street 
so the police are out of here. So I'm gonna go down here to Rizzle Street, then I'm gonna go left, uh, and then come back past the markets. Uh, but as I said, it's uh, trying to rain. Uh, so there's my Geely cars, it's pretty cool. There's my bank there, wave at my bank. Hello bank, how are you? Yeah, that's what happens when you get somebody double parking. Taxi drivers get impatient. So we're going to go left here. So, yeah, so they've really gone for it, which I think, is, you know, fair play. You have to turn around and do things like that. You need sometimes you just have to uh, bite the bullet and then uh, go to the next level. And uh, I'm going to go left here, so it made sense. Oh, I don't think I can go left there. That goes up to San Pedro Square. It's one way. There's Wilson Shopping Centre. Old school. Very old. So this is the old part of downtown Davao. So you can see some of the uh, 1930s, 1940s, 1950s design. Look at this guy. Yeah. Cut the wrong corner. This is lovely architecture on the right hand side here. Absolutely beautiful building there. Got some apartments above it and it overlooks down towards the river. So this is coming up to the back of the town hall. Uh, I've done this route a couple of times now, haven't I? So uh, San Pedro is on the left hand side here. Chino College is on the right hand side here. Uh, and then we're going to come down to old old school. So this is the courthouse on the left hand side. Uh, so the back of uh, where you pay, your, where you get you get married or you get your married license, and you get your pay, you pay your uh, uh, citations and your fines and all that other gobbledygook, all that lovely stuff. On the right hand side here is a school, but they've also got the uh, some uh, condominiums being built, some new condominiums here on the right hand side. Yeah. Oh come on Toyota, you, you, you know, you know how to use that steering wheel? It, it moves circular. Yeah. So, so we're going to go left here. Straight on goes down towards Bolton Bridge. So that's where we are. Uh, PMP is on the right hand side here behind the bank so we're going straight on there's a clock tower at San Pedro looking very very nice there's San Pedro Church on the left hand side there and this is the road that I class as the worst road in Davao so uh, it's um, it's full of holes full of potholes they just botched it, botched it, botched it, and this is the road they really should dig up and get rid of it, and then put down some more more concrete and then actually at the top of it. But uh, yeah, I think they've started at the top there. We're going to see that in a couple of minutes. The China Bank people are turning right. It's getting into rush hour now, so we've got all these guys. This is what makes this road such a shit tip because people start to weave to get around the holes they weave to get rid get around the, the rust and the deep the, the deep holes that they don't want to wreck their suspension they don't want to smash up their wheels they don't want to ground the bottom of their car or the bottom of their jeepney but you can see how the camera's moving you know how how crap this road really is and it is but i would say one of the busiest maybe the busiest road in davao apart from jp l'oreal because everybody comes down to downtown to go to city hall look at the state of this road bit here you know and when it rains it washes out as i said yesterday it washes out all of the all the dirt and the mud that fills up and packs it out so yeah 
We'll see how that's going through there. Oh Christ. But anyway, so this high under in front of us, I'm getting over. You can put 5,000, or you can put nil deposit down, and it's 5,600 pesos a month for five years for that green car in front. So there we go. See, they're doing the work here, putting in, putting in the drains. Um, and then covering it all up and packing it all down then they're going to come along and then they will dig it up again to put the formers in at the side and then re-concrete this so hopefully that's going to be in the next I don't know, next month and then this will be like that other road I just showed you coming into Davao that is really really nice and smooth indicate left mate turn right you know the left and right there see what I mean see that hole there so the road is starting to collapse, they're doing the bits on here. But where it's urgent, they're actually getting in, turn around, oh look at this. Let's get up onto the concrete. And this is the problem, the road is really nice, so the jeepney drives at around about two miles an hour, because he's trying to pick up fares like that. Look at this guy. See, so they've actually done this road, so they're, they're doing the new concrete there, they've done the concrete here. So this bit, which is about 200 metres, up near uh, Marco Polo, is really, really nice. You know, you're not getting that bouncy, bouncy, well you are here, so they've got metal bits missing there, and you've got this road being covered over so it doesn't fill up with water tonight. So they can come and backfill it tomorrow. And this one is just about all over the friggin' place. So that's where we went into Davao, in down to Pat San Pedro, and this is going out now, up towards Gmail. So you can hear, oh, you can hear all the jeepneys bibbing their horns, looking for fares. Uh, and as you can see, the, the road is still. Oh, look at that. And as I said, we're going to do San Pedro back to uh, SM Langen. And uh, traffic lights aren't working here. Chinatown down there on the right. Oh, I went down Chinatown. Now this road has been overlaid with asphalt, so it's quite nice, but there's no, no white lines at the moment. The white lines will come, and the orange lines will come, and they, they will baffle the baffled the hell out of me of what is actually going on but this road now it's fresh is as slippery as it as you can actually imagine so uh, my back wheel is doing a little bit of spinny spinny because it's got loads of oil and loads of uh, loads of minerals coming out of the uh, out of the ash felt. So you just have to be very, very careful. You can see, you can see where you've got those little pockets where the oil's coming out. Well, there's a guy who turned around. He wants his crash helmet and uh, trying to put on his rainwear, and crash helmet just come off his head. <laughs> <laughs> 